All right, here is another word problem, okay? Bill has 18 coins in his pocket, and the value of these coins is $3. In other words, if you added up the value of all these coins together, you'd have a total of $3 worth of coins. He has twice as many dimes as he has nickels, and Bill has six more quarters than he has nickels. So how many co of each coin does Bill have in his pocket? And what's the value of each one? Now I know I didn't say what's the value of each one on the screen, but that's what we're going to find out. Alright. First of all, we know he has 18 coins. So we're going to go down here. We know that he has a certain number of nickels. We said that. We actually said that he had twice as many dimes as nickels. So if we take the number of nickels times 2, we'll get the number of dimes. Now we also said he has 6 more quarters than nickels. So if we take the number of nickels and we add it to 6, then we get the number of quarters. Alright, so x plus 2x plus x plus 6 is going to give us a grand total of 18 coins. Let's go down here. x plus 2x plus x plus 6 is going to be 18. Well, x plus 2x plus x equals 4x. Right down here. 4x plus 6 equals 18. Now we're going to subtract 6 from both sides of this equation. When we do, we have 4x equaling 12 because 18 minus 6 is 12. And so therefore, x equals 3. Now what did we say x was originally? We said that x was the number of nickels. Well, if we multiply 3 times 2, we get 6. So that's the number of dimes that we have. Okay? And if we add 3 plus 6, we have 9 quarters, because that's the number of quarters that we have. Now we know the amount here, but we don't know the value of all those, okay? How do we find that out? We multiply 3 times 0.05 and we get 15 cents, because nickels are worth 5 cents apiece. And this is the decimal answer for 5 cents a piece. We take 3, we multiply it by 2 to get 6, so that's the number of dimes that we have, and then we take that times 0.10 because each dime is worth 10 cents a piece. So now we know we have 60 cents in dimes. Alright, so we add 6 to 3, which is the number of nickels, which gives us the number of quarters, which is 9, and then we take that 9 times 0.25 because each quarter is worth 25 cents a piece. Well, 9 times 0.25 gives us a total of $2.25. So if you add 2.25 plus 0.60 plus, plus 0.15, you're going to get a total of $3. And that's your final answer. I will tell you more in a future video, so stay tuned.